everyone, Cheeky Tam here. Today I'm going to make some fried rice. Now, I know a lot of you are used to me doing taste tests, but the thing that you may not know about me is that I also love to cook. Now, fried rice is something that I cook quite often, and the reason being because I, for some reason, every time I make rice, make way too much rice. This is a couple of cups of rice, and this is leftover rice, which is the best kind to use because when it comes to fried rice, you want it to be dried out a little bit. So it's actually good to use rice from the day before. If you haven't got rice from the day before, or then just spread it all out onto a tray and dry it out a little bit in the fridge and it'll be perfect. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to use today. I'll leave a list below in the description of quantities and amounts of it. But you can substitute a lot of this stuff for other things. So I start off with a couple of eggs and you just put that into a little bowl and whisk those up together. And don't worry if you haven't got a whisk, you can just use a little fork for that. Oh goodness, make sure you spill it over the sides. I could have done it in a bigger bowl, but where's the challenge in that? I like to add a little bit of salt to it in this stage. This is my fancy salt shaker and I love it because it makes my food look slightly haunted. Now, um, oh geez, look what it did. <laughs> So I've got eight green prawns here. I usually keep a bag of frozen prawns in the freezer just in case I want to make fried rice. I'm actually going to chop these up though. You can get smaller prawns, but you know, if you don't, if you don't eat prawns, well then just don't put them in it really. So I'm just going to remove the tails quickly. So I'm just going to cut these up into little chunks. You could leave these whole also. Let's put some heat on and get started. Usually I'd use peanut oil to cook this, but I don't have any peanut oil, so I've got a little bit of sesame oil which I'll use. You can use olive oil as well. Plonk that in the pan and let that heat up a little bit just to coat the bottom of the pan. So now that that's heated, I'm just going to throw this egg in. I leave that for a couple of seconds to cook on the bottom and then I actually just start to move it around the pan a little bit. Why am I doing this? I don't know. It's just how I've always done it, really. I'm moving this around because I kind of want a sheet of egg and I don't want it to be too thick in one spot. So you just let that cook through and move it around it as you're going. Come on, get there, get there. I think this is the hardest part about cooking the fried rice is this egg bit. And then I should be able to just start to peel it off at the edges here. I'm using the wrong utensil. I don't want to scratch my pan. So we just use this and what we do is it easily lifts up and then I just start to sort of fold it over like this. Come on, off you get. There you go. And then I just slip that onto a plate and I'm going to cut that up. And I'll cut that down the middle too, why not? So I've just turned the heat back on again. I'm going to put a little bit more sesame oil in the pan. I've actually, oh, I'm running out, geez. Because I've run out of sesame oil, I'm just going to plonk some olive oil. I know it's not the best oil to use in fried rice, but it works. So next off, we've got to make sure we get all of our other items cooked. I've got some bacon here. If you don't have bacon and you've got ham, then you don't have to worry about cooking, but I have bacon because that's all I had in the fridge. Fried rice is really about using a lot of leftovers and stuff. Wait till that heats up because I hate it when cooks don't actually sizzle their oil. It really annoys me. Let's just plonk that bacon in. See? Sizzle. That's what we want. From here, it's all gonna go very quickly. This is really just gonna be done within a few minutes. So we want that to crisp up just a little bit and cook through. Of course, if it's ham, you don't have to worry about this part of it. Now, I'm gonna use some eschalots today, or some people call these shallots, some people call them eschalots. Either way, this is the beast I'm using today, and I've cut up about two of them in here. If you don't have eschalots or shallots, then you can use onion as well. You put your onion in at this stage of the game. But I've got, oh, hello, see you later. <laughs> Next, the prawns go in. Make sure they're cooked right through. They will only take a couple of minutes. You know they're cooked when they go like a pinky orangey color. I'm terrible when it comes to measuring out things, so I'm hoping I'm gonna get all these quantities right for you. That's looking the right color. I'm actually gonna add some chili in. Most people don't add chili to fried rice. That's just weird. But I wanna add some chili to it. You don't have to do that. Why would you? But I love chili. Next, I'm gonna add the half a cup of peas, frozen peas in there. Hello, join the party, peas. You're welcome. In go the echelots. And the rice. In you go. So 
basically you're just going to move it around so the heat goes all the way through this rice. Stir it in for a couple of minutes, well until it's heated. Then you add some soy sauce. How much you add? Well just add it in bit by bit till it gets to the right colour. Bit more. Yeah, I'm not one for measuring as I said. Put a little bit of fish sauce in. You don't have to put fish sauce in. It will work with just the soy sauce. That's looking pretty good, hey? Yum! I'm just gonna to toss that chopped egg in there. Some people add a lot more oil to their fried rice, but I like my fried rice less oily. If you like it to have that little sticky bit of oilness to it, then whack it on in. And there you go, that is your fried rice. So there's my plate of fried rice. And as you can see, it's quite colorful and it's pretty much about using up your leftovers, your leftover rice, your leftover bits and pieces. But let's just taste it. Oops, let's throw some out of the bowl too. Mmm. I absolutely love fried rice and honestly this is just as good as any takeaway Chinese place. That's good! It's seriously good! Well thank you so much for watching everyone. If you make fried rice at home, let everyone know in the comments below what you put into your fried rice and what methods you use. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye!